Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. So after we set up the environment and we started our first app, so let's start uh, configuring the app for our website. So configuration for uh, for this template, as I'm using the the uh, RNWP template I have already sh uh, shown in the last lesson. This is the template I'm using. You can use whatever template you like. At the end, you will just you will just need to follow the instructions of the template. So, uh, in, uh, for the RNWP template, uh, the configuration settings are the config file. You can open it the, conf the config folder, sorry, and you can co open user config.js. You can just modify the the name of the website you, you have. Uh, you can uh, you can control the options here the way you like. So, I will uh, I made a, uh, a WordPress plugin that will help. Uh, help you uh, configure this, uh, these settings without the need to directly uh, to directly uh, modify it from the code. Uh, you can uh, show you can see this plugin here. You can open this your your uh, WordPress uh, admin dashboard and click add new. And the settings you can search for our NWP app template config. This is the uh, this is the uh, plugin I have already seen. You can just install it and activate it, and you can go to its dashboard. So, in the dashboard, you can see uh, all the all the settings you have here. The settings that you will need to modify uh, the website URL. You can just give the URL you like. If you have uh, a multi a multi multilingual website. You may need to install more than an app. So you can, for example, you can have it, for example, this way. This way. Whatever the language you have. So you can uh, check the, uh, this This depends for sure on your, uh, on the plugin you are using for multi, for multi language websites. For example, WPML. You, can, you will just write it this way and then it, uh, everything will go, but uh, it depends mainly on the on how you are setting how you are setting the other language uh, domains. You can just check uh, if this uh, if the plugin is uh, supporting REST API for the for the other languages, and you can just go to right here the the URL for the language you you wish to have the, the app. The app will uh, in our case, as I said, the, uh, you will need. An app per language. Not all the languages are set set up in the same uh, in the same app. Uh, next, you will uh, check the app structure. The app structure mainly dep depends on the custom post the post types and the taxonomies you are enabling in our, in your uh, website. Uh, this website is a very simple website, so it just has the, the default ones. Maybe if you if you have a WooCommerce website, you will see here enable products. Uh, this uh, the app for based on this template will just show the products, but it'll, it will show a, a button here a button uh, for this uh, a button that will appear for products only, not for everything. That will uh, give you a link to the WordPress page. To the product page you have, so uh, you can just uh, check out this. Uh, you can uh, we can see here which ones you want to appear on the app and which ones you don't want. For example, you want uh, only posts to appear on the on the, uh, on the app. You don't want pages to appear here. I am showing pages, so maybe I will not I will not want to pages to appear. So. After uh, after in, after disabling pages, you can just disable the pages here. You can, for example, uh, if you are disabling the pages, then you, everything will uh, no pages will show in the in the app. So maybe you will not want to install uh, the post to be shown this way, as you can see here. Posts are just seen, uh, are just written as posts. If you go to do to the main screen, it will also show, uh, show post this way. So maybe you will not want to show it this way. 
you will, maybe you will not you will want it to see, to write it this way uh, to write it uh, as all post if you updated it directly in the wp config file here same the name so it will show this way uh, for sure if you want to use the plugin then you after setting after finishing all your settings you'll just save changes and copy this file As it will be shown here this is the same I will not need to if you copy it here copy it here and paste it so it be the same nothing changed because I just I, I have already modified it on my uh, in my in the code before copying and pasting it uh, so it will show here all posts that are supported by uh, REST API. The same for taxonomies. It will show all taxonomies supported by the REST API. Maybe if you have a WooCommerce website, you will see here product tags and product categories. Uh, it will show here which one to show first. So, so for example, if you if I have posts and pages, it will depend which one will be shown first here. And if posts are the main uh, home page. Then, uh, if I chose if I chose here page uh, pages, then pages will, will appear. Same thing here. Taxonomies. Maybe I will not need to show. Tags. There are no tags here, so I will I'll not uh, show it. Here, if you are if your taxonomy is supporting more than one post type, then you will choose which one. Which one to show here? Maybe it's not a common functionality in WordPress that taxonomies are mainly supporting one uh, one one post type, but maybe you have maybe tax, uh, categories maybe uh, are supporting posts and pages. Then you will then uh, the category menu here would support will show either posts or pages. Here are, it's showing posts. If I choose in pages, it will show pages. But uh, my website is not supporting pages, so it's not shown here as an option. Here I can see which post to exclude. Maybe I will, I will need to exclude some any post. Maybe this one. If I need to install to exclude a taxonomy, maybe I will install. Uh, I exclude the uncategorized. Uh, this is related to number of uh, posts to download. So uh, this uh, this uh, this app is coming up with the functionality that the user can download the whole website. So uh, in order to uh, enable or disable it here, it's enabled. So it's uh, already downloaded before. I I may need to delete the data. So I will need to enable it again. It will take some time downloading. Uh, maybe uh, this option will show how many posts to download. Maybe your website has 10 posts. Maybe it has hundreds. Maybe it has tens of thousands. It depends on, on, on your website. What you should write here, the number of posts uh, it will download. If you have more than uh, 100 web websites, this will download download the last last hundred websites, last hundred published websites. So we need to increase it to one thousand. Whatever you, it depends on your website. Here it depends on the number of posts uh, per page. As you can see here, it's uh, it downloads the main, uh, it downloads the the post. Uh, so the user can open this app offline. So I need to restart the app in order to show the, the latest uh, posts. This app wasn't updated before. So I will, I am talking here about number of posts per page are five. Maybe I will know uh, I need to be less. This this already shows how many posts are here shown. 
once you go down it scrolls and gets uh, this here by default shows the first by the last five posts you can show more than that as you like or less this can be three it can be five, uh, five it can be ten whatever you like uh, next you can uh, you can control which uh, which uh, home page home screen to be to be shown it can be either the post or the categories so here if you are uh, here is the default is post and that's why posts here are uh, the post page are uh, post screen are the first screen shown when you start the app if you like to show uh, to, uh, if you like the screen for the categories to be shown then you can just uh, you can just uh, choose the taxonomies and with and it will show it will show it but just make sure that for the post type you will uh, want to show first here so for example if you want to show pages or posts it depends for sure i i haven't copied these options here so it still shows the post as the first page so i'll uh, keep it this way okay i'll i have shown the taxonomies uh, So let's copy and paste this again. And restart the app. You can restart the app through the either through the terminal here by writing I or A on the console or through the, uh, the browser running on iOS or Android or through the mobile by just opening it and closing it again so as, I, as you can see here it shows categories shows pages before posts it doesn't show tags so this was uh, set as we like We can go to the next option here the, uh, the page to be considered as the about page you can uh, choose your about page here this for sure is not privacy policy it's just set for demo purpose and you can choose it from whatever post you like if you have, don't want an about page to appear on the app at all this is the about page uh, if you don't want it to appear on the app you just you just uh, choose none uh, the excerpts, the excerpts to be shown in the post uh, thumbnails is here related to this is the excerpt we uh, we have chosen here. So maybe we want to to show all the whole, the whole content. So we you just need to uncheck this one. Uh, next for the characters to be shown, it's the the same. You can uh, you can cut it to first 150 characters. You can be, it can be more. You can either show feature a uh, feature image or not. You can choose the text direction to be right to left or uh, right to left or re left to right for language supporting this as Arabic, for example. Uh, then we will shall go to the notifications. Notifications are mainly either through uh, Firebase or through uh, a fusion web app uh, plugin i will go I, I will explain this in the in a next video just i wanted to show that uh, there are some settings here related to notifications the contact details you you have for example if you have a mobile phone number or if you if you have uh, an address if you have an email uh, these are links for the social links you have you can write only the applicable ones and the applicable ones will be the only ones to be shown here for example here i am only showing facebook uh, so it will only show the, my facebook page if you are if i write anything else it will it will appear here so in whatsapp you can just write the your phone number but make sure it's an international number it, it contains the country code the country code 
in order to be compiled well and shown on the WhatsApp. Uh, and then there are, there are the add settings. Add settings are mainly through AdMob. So AdMob, you just uh, make sure to, to uh, enable the ads you like, banner ads, interstitial ads, or rewarded ads. You need an AdMob account and you will need to copy your key here. Then we, you can choose the names, of, the names for the screen here. So you can choose the home screen, the about screen, contact, uh, contact us, the search screen, for example. Uh, okay, I have it run it on Android. I can run it again. Okay. Next, uh, these are miscellaneous texts in the app, like on uh, that there is no internet connection. The options you can choose, uh, you can choose to, you can change any of these, uh, any of these texts, like this one. any of these ones if you have no internet connection it will say that if there are no search results the button here for example for online or offline search uh, so this is all related to the text the custom text related in the app so that it's so, so that you can uh, customize it for your case for your language uh, and make the app appear in the text you like okay then uh, finally we can uh, we can control the colors here so I here I have this one for the dark mode if I switch to the light mode these are dark the ones so you can here control the background color for example let it be something distinct text container also these ones are for the dark mode if this uh, so these are the text uh, the background color here this one the text here this is the container uh, these are some of the uh, colors related to the button itself this you can configure this one for the light mode and the other for the dark mode so, for example, I will choose this one here. So, after we configure the app as we like, this can be done this way. I change the colors of the ones I like. Uh, so I I now I have now personalized the the post as the way I, I need. The background background alt is mainly related to this. Uh, this hasn't changed because this related mainly to the background alt, the inactive ones. Uh, you can see you can see them here. Text alt, sorry, not the background alt. As you can see here, it's the same, this one. I haven't uh, changed the thumb color because just, uh, just, just for the sake of simplicity, I haven't shown all, all colors, but you can configure any one of them the way you like here. So now, after uh, finishing uh, configuration, you, you, we can just go to the next step. So. I so I'll see you in the next video to start building the app through app.json app.json file. So goodbye.